guys welcome back to bl world drama your go-to source for the juiciest scandals in the world of bl and gls from trending hashtags to sizzling social media drama i've got it all join me as i dive deep into the lives of your favorite stars with exclusive updates secrets and interviews that will keep you hooked subscribe now ring the bell and let's dive into the glitz the glam and the scandalous world of bl and gls so let's get right into it so today we tv thailand was showing all their programs that are going to like come out in 2024 and as you know like Seng was part of the lineup i did a video about it i think either a week ago or a few days ago whereby people were leaving like very nasty comments under uh, his twitter post about him being part of the lineup that we tv had to close off that comment section so I thought maybe it would impact his like attendance in the lineup but unfortunately unfortunately or fortunately it didn't happen whichever way you would like to see it it did it didn't happen he was still part of the lineup he is going to have a show a bl show with best if you don't know best who best is best is like a bl actor who did a show called checkout with chahab I'm still waiting for that Shahab who has BL shows. I'm crossing my fingers. It might probably happen next year. But we know Shahab is back to his like normal 9 to 5. He is a, I think, a, a air hostess. So he is traveling and working. So let's wait and see if he will back. He will be back today. Like the acting industry, Checkout has a movie and a series out. I didn't like both. So, yeah, you can just go and check it out if you haven't checked it, if you haven't seen it. So, what did happen is that Seng did a press like conference with some interviewers and they did ask him like a couple of questions and some of the questions like, were fast about like how he felt about his invasion of privacy he said it it did affect like their mental health and right now they are pretty grateful that they have work so they have been focusing mostly on work and so it has it it has helped them on how to handle like their mental state he they he they also asked about his like comment section and how he feels when he reads like all those negative comment section and he did say he feels pretty bad because like sometimes he doesn't believe like those statements are made by human beings and they're made towards another human being and he says that he would actually not care a lot if the statements were only meant for him but they are now meant for people around him his friends his family and he feels like he now has to take control and he has like talked to lawyers and they will be pressing charges on people who like put negative comments under his posts so like we know people have been coming after his team especially someone called i think sugars whereby they are accusing sugars as the woman in the video and they are accusing that sugars is his alleged sugar mommy which i don't know because i haven't seen any definite proof that puts them in a compromising situation so it's me thinking that just either shippers or solo stands just want someone to take like the blame so until there is definite proof that she is the person in the video or there is another video or picture of them in a compromising situation then to me i won't like believe that so he will be taking legal actions and then he was asked about his relationship with friend whereby he beat around the bush and he didn't clearly say what the relationship was he just said that like they are now just focused on their work and like that they are just focusing on their work that's all and then he was asked if like did this thing like affect their relationship in any way and he said again like they were focusing on work and they only talk about the case like in all this like whole like i think they asked around like 20 something questions but none of them like clearly 
Seng spoke clearly. So here I am. If you didn't want to answer the questions in the first place, why continue like putting these reporters like go in a merry-go-round, go round and round and round when you are clearly not saying like, you're not clearly giving answers. And again, these reporters, if you are going to ask the same question again and again and again, why not just tell the person to say yes or no? Choose yes or no. If you know like they're not going to give you a precise answer, a precise clear answer, why not ask them to just say yes or no? So like it was like a cat and mouse game between the reporters and saying, and it was actually the most unprofessional thing that I've read because I have tried to find a video whereby like it's like translated word for word as he speaks and the reporter speaks. But unfortunately, no one has done it because like most people, even in Thai, most fans are frustrated because they couldn't like get like the full context of what he was saying. The only thing he was saying is like he was talking about his work and their work, his and friends work and how like he should be given an opportunity to like work and show his talent and show how good of an actor he is. And all that and how he's busy and how he's like getting opportunities and how he's working hard and all this. He also spoke about, he was also asked if the reason he left like Idol Factory was because of his relationship and with friend. And we know like there were those rumors going around that he had to leave Idol Factory because of his relationship with friend. But he clearly says that his manager and like had talked to WeTV and like he found better opportunities at WeTV. That's why he left. He left like Idol Factory to go to WeTV and it had nothing to do with his relationship with friend. So in that he was very clear on but he just couldn't say the clear nature of his relationship with friend. And here I am thinking because now He's getting all the hits again. And I'm asking myself, why does Seng keep on putting himself in this position? Like, he always puts himself as the punch bag. And again, I did ask, like, Idol Factory today morning to, like, release an official statement about, like, the closure of the case. Because, as we know, friend did speak about it during the weekend. I haven't done that video because I was waiting for an official statement from idol factory but if they are not going to release it i will have to post like my video with what friends said and i didn't want to do that i just wanted like an opportunity to get like an official statement with from them and then also like the statement that friend made and the statements that they have made in the past but now i think i will just do the video again so, as we know, the first time he made a statement and said that they had no evidence, enough evidence, and the stalkers were international and they couldn't, like, lodge, arrest them and all that, people went mayhem on him. Like, people called him a liar, people called him so many vile, vulgar words. And then, a month later, friend says the same thing. And they haven't had anything. Like, yeah, there was some little, like, chatter here, there. But today, after Seng made these statements, these unclear statements, like, there was chatter everywhere. And people calling, calling him a cloud chaser, people calling him, like, all sorts of words that I can't even say here. And it's it was just, like, I... I don't use the word heartbreaking, but it is not fair that every single time, it's like just like the first time when he was the first person who came out to the video and said that he was the one in the video and didn't say that friend was the woman in the video, people came after him. When friend did make the video and say she was the woman in the video, people didn't question her who the man was or which video she was talking about. Like people were saying, that she didn't have to apologize and all that and all that. But they didn't have the same grace for saying. 
when he released the statement again, people didn't have grace for him, but people had grace for friend during the weekend. Now again, people don't have grace for him. People are coming after him, saying that he's trying to destroy two women's career, that he's using other people to destroy two women's career, and this and that, and this and that. Not forgetting that it's not only two women's career that is going to be destroyed. It's three people. Even though we know that the world is unfair on mostly women, but still, like we are getting to a point whereby people... Everyone is equally being called out for their she and like saying isn't going to like be able to like get off like easily scot free like he's going to be affected in one way or another and if you did notice like even we t v like they didn't give like so much coverage of him on like their social media. Because of this, because they were afraid, like, if they did put too much about him, they were going to get, like, a lot of hate. So they actually, like, put very little images of him. So it is affecting because at the end of the day, they're not selling him as much as they wanted to or as much as they want to because they're afraid of the repercussions that they would get. So, like, I am going to put, like, different translations from different people I haven't found any video yet and by the time I post this video because I'm probably going to post this video tomorrow because I'm still giving myself time to see if I can find like the videos English subtitle videos word for word and if I do find them I'm going to post them here but if I don't find them please bear with me and I have I will put like different translations from different people and you will see like <coughs> There are some minor like differences, but not actually very big differences because these translations were made with different people. And, you know, like different people, some of them are maybe F stands. Some of them are like F solo stands. Some of them are like friend Becky stands. And some of them are like actually neutral. So I think I have either two or three or four different translations. I'm not sure. I'm going to put them here so that you guys can see what they talked about because some of them are like very few, few like words. So yeah, so you read and then make an opinion for yourself. So I am not sure if Idol Factory will now come out with a statement, but from everything that I did gather from this interview, it's like friend is still Please don't quote me. This is my opinion. These are my thoughts. Because for how the how Seng was beating around the bush, I think that friend and Seng have a relationship or had a relationship or are still having a relationship, but they are still like undecided whether to come out with it or not to come out with it because they have seen how like it has affected their work. So they don't actually want to put more damage to their work and they want like the, the, their work to take the forefront, their talent to take the forefront and like their relationship to take the back end. So I'm thinking that they are not going to come out with their relationship anytime soon. They are just going to like let people think what they think. Because it was so easy for him to say, yes, we are having a relationship. No, we are not having a relationship. Yes, we used to have a relationship. No, we are. Yes, we were getting to know each other. No, we are no longer going to get to know each other. Like there are so many words that he could have used that that were short than the tail he was putting around our necks. So actually, it is not like... When someone is not clearly saying something, they are saying something. So the fact that he was not saying that they are in a relationship or they are not in a relationship, he was actually saying they are in a relationship. So, because it's very easy to say a no than it is to say a yes. So that is for me. So I don't know. 
there's also this thing of saying that there will be a 14 minute video released tomorrow so i am waiting on that video i don't know the details of that video i don't know if it's true or false i don't know if it concerns friend on saying or not or becky but the rumors that i've seen it's it's like it concerns friend and saying so yeah we will see if it does come out or it does not come out and apparently it is going to come out in a different twitter account and not the becky e spirit account so again another video that i'm supposed to upload is like me uncovering the whole identity of becky e spirit so that video is also going to come like either tomorrow or in a few days we will see about it so yes so now there is like another account which is threatening to like release the video and now there are like f stands f solo stands that have come out and said that the 14 minute video is fake because apparently the chinese fans pineapple cns have said that that video is fake that there is no 14 minute video Again, we know that the Pineapple Cians were the first people to be back blackmailed with the video. So they might not necessarily know like the full length of the video because maybe the video that they were supposed to be given is different from the video that is going to be released. So yeah, so we'll see about it. If anything happens, I will let you guys know. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, turn on the post notification, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. ถ้าถามว่าฉันจริงผมคิดว่าหลังจากที่เกิดเรื่องมาเราได้กลับมานั่งทบทวนเราก็ได้กลับมาพูดคุยกันถึงเรื่องมาทบทวนกันมาเป